Hey guys, good morning. It is Monday, and as you all know, Monday is request day. I hope you guys are having a great Monday. It's a little overcast here, but I've been up since 3, so I guess it doesn't matter. Our first request for today is Disturbed, A Reason to Fight. I think you guys know that I'm a huge fan of Disturbed. I've been listening to them since they first came on the scene. So this will be, the song will be a review. However, I just want to let you guys know, I tried a while back to do this song. I tried the video and the video was blocked. So um, I never tried to do the song again um, because I think the song's important. It's about um, addiction. This is a live performance of the song. I'm hoping that it will go through. King G? <laughs> King G. I have already tried once to get this song out. Um, I am trying it again for you. And let's just get it. This is Disturbed, A Reason to Fight. Our world is plagued by an epidemic. By a disease that shows no mercy. The demons known as addiction and depression are very real. Wow. And they have claimed far too many of those we love. Far okay, I'm going to stop that real quick because, wow, I mean, wow, like, holy shit. I would not have expected during a concert for them to start this song this way. But it's almost as, I mean, it's just as powerful. The vi If you know this song at all, which I'm assuming if this especially this person who's requesting the song knows the song. So they've seen the actual video, the visuals. And I'm going to, if you don't know the song, and this is the first time you're hearing it. I, I, I am going to leave not only the link to this, but I'm going to leave the link to the actual video to this song in the description, because the visuals for the video are just amazing. I mean, they really are. So, um, but this is crazy. I mean, it just shows the type of band that Disturbed is for them to do this right before this song. Um, uh, anyway, I'm going to go back, but this just blows me away. Absolutely blows me away. Our world is plagued by an epidemic, by a disease that shows no mercy. The demons known as addiction and depression are very real. And they have claimed far too many of those we love far sooner than they should have left us. Those still with us are fighting a battle they wage every day of their lives, keeping those demons at bay. It's up to us to show them that they aren't alone, that they have nothing to be ashamed of, that we understand, and that we will fight with them and for them. Awesome. Thought we'd get a little closer to you for this one. The song A Reason to Fight, I know it's personal to the group and it's very personal to me. It reaches out to those who suffer from mental illness, addictions, or depression, any and all of the above. There have been so many times in my life when I really wanted to stop fighting. I am a survivor of a suicide attempt and on paper I shouldn't be here. I also am one of them. I've dealt with depression most of my life. During high school, I did have those thoughts of suicide and I was really in pain. I had plans to kill myself. I battled depression almost every day. It is a fight, it's a struggle. I'm a recovering alcoholic. I started drinking at the age of 16, drank to forget all my problems, tried to commit suicide a couple of different times. This song speaks out about so many different things to so many different people. They have a message. The message to fight the demons and suicide and depression. From what's ailing you. That 
touched home with me. I lost my nephew a few years ago to uh, addiction. My grandfather had an addiction with alcohol. It was pretty bad growing up. I lost my brother a year ago to depression. He took his own life. It's good that they're trying to raise awareness on not only addiction, but depression also. I've lost friends in the military, both to combat and to suicide. About five years ago, I learned that my father committed suicide. And since then, I have been an advocate on why you should not do it. feel like you have a reason to fight. I didn't feel like I had a reason. And in the end, I realized I have plenty of reasons to fight, but you can't do it alone. And it's okay to ask for help. We makes us stronger, everybody. Not I, not you, we. Being there for someone who has that thought is the best thing you can do. I fight with my demons every day. It's a daily battle with the monsters in my head. We all have our demons, and most of the time, suffer in silence. I don't go through it myself, but I see what she goes through. We're not alone, although it takes a lot to accept that. But there is hope, and if you can offer hope, it can reinstill faith. This has blown me away, what happened today, because it gave me kind of the new understanding of what you can do with your music. It can be about actually changing people's lives. And David was super clear about what the call to action is, that we want to care about people who are in crisis right now. We keep losing soldiers in this war. And I'm tired of losing so many people that are so talented, so many people that I care so deeply about, to the demons of addiction and depression. We lost Keith Flint from The Prodigy recently. I miss Chester, I miss Scott, I miss Chris, Paul Gray, Wayne Static. The list goes on and on and on. And this is not just an epidemic that affects the world of entertainment. Our veterans, our military, they're dropping like flies. 22 veterans take their own life every single day, single ladies day. and gentlemen. And we do not single do day. enough to support them. Being taken by addiction or depression is no one's fault. It is not something for you to be embarrassed of. It is not something for you to be ashamed of. Turn some light on these people, please. To prove to you that this is not an affliction that is exclusive to the world of entertainment, by a show of hands, how many of you have dealt with the demons of addiction and depression yourselves or know someone that has? Take a look around at this arena. You are not alone. We're in this together, my brothers and sisters of my blood, and it's up to us to take a stand, to make a pact here tonight that we will not wait until the day of our beloved's funeral when we are standing in front of their casket and the words keep echoing through your mind, I wish I would have. Are you ready to begin? This is a battle that we are gonna win. When you're raking for the fight. Mental health, mental illness, addiction, all of these kinds of things have such a negative connotation. And them taking the time to really pay attention to this, telling us we're not alone. You're great leaders because you really want our people to succeed too. Hey, Tom, pretty close. Absolutely. 18 years sober. I just celebrated for you as clean from addiction. As of writing this, I am seven months sober. That took some serious bravery, ladies and gentlemen, and that's what we all have to be, is brave. When bands like Disturbed publicly speak about mental illness, it helps open that door. Thanks for telling your story. I told mine back in December for the first time, so... Hey, bro. 
know what it's like. I know how hard it is to get up in front of one person or 10,000 plus people and tell your story like that. Now I can say I'm 100% sober, but more importantly for me, 100% right now in a good spot in my head. We can just help one person, then we're doing something right that could be you. So ask for help if you get the chance, please. If you are in crisis, or know of someone that is in crisis, please contact the National Addiction Hotline at 1-800-662-4357 or the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255. Through the strength and support of our extended family, we can make a difference to those who fight this war. We must continue to be their allies, their hope, their added source of strength. We must continue to give all of them a reason to fight. Okay, so I I definitely was not expecting that. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I got emotional, but um first of all, a full disclosure, I'm a recovering addict. I haven't um I've been clean for well over 20 years, but an addict still. Once you're an addict, you're always an addict. Unfortunately, so addiction is an awful thing and it's a real big problem in this country and but so is suicide like they said especially among our veterans i am a veteran and i mostly work with veterans who have ptsd and reintegration issues um also most veterans have it's called comorbid morbidity meaning one or more issues right so if they have ptsd and they've been self-medicating with alcohol or other drugs because for many different reasons um because they haven't been getting the help they need and stuff like that um but the fact of the matter is is that the suicide rate among veterans since this war has started at first it was triple what it had been it is now quadruple um what it, it was more than 22 veterans a day take their own life. That's one veteran every hour. It's a real problem. Now, <clears throat> that's my public service message, and you already heard theirs, and that was a beautiful, beautiful video, and no, you didn't get to hear the whole song. You, you heard the song in bits and pieces. And like I said, I will put the link to the actual video for the song, in the description so you can hear the whole song. It's a beautiful song. And I said that the visuals to the video were very powerful, but this was beyond what the video is, just beyond it. Bravo, Disturbed. Thank you. Thank you. From me, from all other combat vets who struggle with PTSD, like I do, like they do, and for all the addicts out there, like myself and others who struggle and work every single day to maintain their sobriety. That's all I have to say. Thank you for requesting this song today. You guys have a great day. And please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. If you know anyone who needs help, please take care of each other. Because no one else is going to. Ciao.